Hi and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle and today I'm gonna review an assembly kit, a pretty cool assembly kit because it is an assembly kit of a working steam engine. When I was a child I remember some time where I played with a friend with a steam engine for weeks yeah and therefore was I was really interested to get another one. Criteria is where it should be high quality it should be possible to assemble it by yourself, at least partially, not in very detail, but at least the main components. So I could have some fun with it and also present it to you. And afterwards, I should be able to give it away to someone else. So let's get it out of the box. Let's have a first look on this steam engine. So it comes with an instruction, all in English. Very well. Also coming with a bill of material. Cool. <laughs> And then let's have a look at the components. And this looks really promising, I have to say. So all these single components here, wow, look at the governor. This looks cool. I will explain you later a bit what these components are for. And wow, do you see the spinning? This is so smooth, pretty cool. We will assemble it first and then we will go through the components and have a look on what components is doing what exactly how a steam engine works yeah basically you would not see it sit in front of your phone or your tv right now if this technology would not have existed like 200 years ago and oh here's the boiler look at this this is beautiful with a glass cover here wow pretty impressive it comes with all the screws you need probably also the tools you need in addition and not just to let it run without any purpose i have in addition got this thing here which is a generator that i can connect via a belt to the steam engine and then it will light up this led bulb up there if it's fast enough so you could really get some output this comes by the way pre-assembled wow this is so cool this is so cool i feel like i don't know 30 years back so cool very well made also and this here is like the bulb that comes on the top on this stick here we're gonna try this of course later on and after spoiler break you're gonna see my attempt to assemble the steam engine and how difficult it really is.
at this point it is very important that the piston can move smoothly or if you fix it at the wrong angle you can feel some resistance here from the uh, from the piston some friction of it it's entirely free to move up and down you can feel that the it is not when it's not adjusted right. Very important detail, otherwise it will not run smoothly later on. Yeah, oh man, this is so satisfying. What a satisfying kit. It's so perfectly made. Really, really cool to assemble. Really satisfying, I can tell you. Burning. Wow. So, how does a steam engine work? Okay. Um, you put the water inside here, inside of this boiler. You heat it up with this furnace here from below. If the water starts boiling and generating some steam, you can open up the valve. The steam will go through this tube here, inside of the governor. What this does, I can explain you later. And then it goes inside of the piston. I just noticed I missed a part here, a tube. I need, still need to add it. <laughs> Otherwise I will have a problem later on. Next then it will go in the piston here. Um, the piston is controlled by this arm coming from here because this is driving here like the valve changing from intake and outlet and also the piston of course is pushed upwards by the steam and is driving the flywheel the flywheel itself it will smoothen out the whole system so it means if you let's say stroke and retract you would have different forces and this would cause a lot of variation in the speed of how this engine would run and the flywheel is basically to store some energy and provides a smooth overall movement. And now let's come to the governor. What is the task or what is the reason to having like a governor in here? The governor is actually a control mechanism to regulate the speed of the engine, okay? Means, as you can see, the steam is passing down here through the governor. The faster it rotates, the more the centrifugal forces will pull these balls here apart and the more, as you can also see here, the shaft will be pushed downwards, okay? And based on how much this is pushed downwards, the more 
it will close the tube down here or the channel down here for the steam to create to uh, to flow through so it means the faster the engine is running the more these balls will move to the outside and the more the tube down here will be closed up so that less steam can pass the system you can then fine tune because it's a real governor fully functional you can fine tune it down here then to set up how much force will be how much spring force will be on the shaft here so on how much speed this engine can reach i will try this out later to see the uh, the impact but for now i think everyone is interested to see the thing running Easy to light up. Ethanol is burning like, as I said, like crazy. So be careful with this liquid. We will open up the valve over here. Here we go. Here we go. So now we skip the first try run and go to the second one because the first one was not successful and the reason was in my case that these bearings you remember those bearings that have been assembled here those are somehow slightly misaligned they've been slightly misaligned and this wheel was not able to rotate properly in this direction in this direction it was okay but in this direction not now it's running much more smooth and now it should work with the second trial. Therefore, it's the second one. Therefore, you can see a little bit of suit already coming out here. So everything's now heated up. Therefore, I will use this tool to control it. And let's see how much, how much steam is already inside here. Okay, so it's under pressure now. And now I will open up the valve here. This is, by the way, an overpressure valve here. So this will release the steam if, it, if the pressure gets too high. I will now open this up. I will open the drain valve here to empty the cylinder from any condensated water. You can see it here. Here we go. It's now empty. Open it up a bit more. And now let's see. Yeah, first try. The engine is running now. Ah, oh, this is so satisfying, especially if you fix it before. Wow, pretty cool. And the governor. Here, the governor. Now you can see how it works. The faster it rotates, the wider these two balls get apart and the higher this valve down here will raise. Let's increase the speed by opening the valve a bit more. Oh, you see all the steam here? This is so nice, man. Pure engineering. <laughs> so, and now let's see. Light bulb does not work. Four. Well, let's see if I go to the maximum. Oh, here we go. It really needs some power to light up. Now I focus on here. You can see it's lighting up now. Wow, it really needs to go fast to do so. And so working perfectly to me, one of the best Christmas gifts you can do. I will also give this away to a friend. Let me know if you have a steam engine at home yourself from your childhood or maybe bought one recently. That's it for today. And until next time, keep on puzzling.